let's assume we have already uh, a scan which shows there's a lung mass based on its location whether it's central or it's peripheral we plan biopsy of this lesion now this biopsy can be bronchoscopic guided it could be e bus guided or it could be a ct guided biopsy if it's a peripherally situated lung mass so on in certain instances it's difficult to biopsy the lung mass so we try to find out whether there are lymph nodes which can be easily biopsyable which could be axillary or neck nodes in certain instances when it is already spread to another site and the lung biopsy is difficult we may want to biopsy the liver or the soft tissue mass around the bone now we already have a biopsy specimen and this is the specimen we give to our oncopathologist and we need to find out what are the characteristics of this tumor so that we can give precise or treatment which is catered to that individual so dr Nag nagarjun how do you uh, process a specimen which has been sent to you by a seated guided biopsy or a bronchoscopic biopsy biopsy is the very crucial phase of our um, in the management of a uh, CA lung patient or any malignancy for that matter. Once the patient is having a growth that is confirmed on imaging, then a biopsy is taken either from the lung or a metastatic site and that is sent for, to the pathologist for the confirmation of the malignancy. So basically this report takes around uh, two to three days. We do the regular uh, examination and a special test called immunohistochemistry which will help me to confirm the type of malignancy that is having uh, the patient is having because that will decide the next line of management. So broadly, uh, Sir has classified it as non-small cell lung cancer or small cell lung cancer. It also depends on morphology and then followed by immunohistochemistry, which are protein markers. But we want to know whether there is a molecular subtype which is expressed. So what uh, will you do to find out what is a molecular subtype or can I give any targeted drugs to the patient? So once we know what type of cancer the patient is having, type of lung cancer, the next step is to know the genetic level because this is going to help me to decide what kind of drug the patient benefit from. So this genetic testing is done either by the, there's a simple test called a PCR based test or a, a, a bit more advanced test that is called as next generation sequencing. So these uh, investigations will tell me what kind of mutation that the patient is carrying and based on that mutation, I can give the patient that specific kind of drugs and these test investigations will generally take around maximum around 10 to 15 days the report uh, you know to reach the patient so within 10 to 15 days you will have the report in your hand telling that whether this patient is really eligible for the kind of different drugs which are which targets these specific mutations and uh, that will help the clinician you know to take the next uh, line of action uh, often in a lung cancer patient getting good quality tissue or good quantity tissue is very difficult and therefore we talk a lot about liquid biopsy in such patients so uh, sir can you tell us what is liquid biopsy See, liquid biopsy is a novel entity recently, um, in past few years it has come into the limelight for the simple reason that this technique is a non-invasive technique where the patient need not undergo an any invasive procedure of uh, as we discussed taking a biopsy from the lung or the liver. So just your blood where you give your sample for regular investigations in that manner we are able to obtain the blood from the patient and subject it to the molecular testing as we discussed. So basically with the molecular studies which has performed on the blood we will be able to tell whether the patient is having what kind of mutations within him and with that we will be able to give the target therapy. So the entire advantage of this uh, liquid biopsy is that it is painless procedure where you're just drawing your peripheral blood that is the blood has been collected around 2 ml or up till 5 5 ml and uh, sent to the lab for the further uh, test investigations so that is the that is the reason why liquid biopsy is well preferred investigations these days due to its uh, you know very uh, comfortness to the patient. No, it is not put into a kind of a stressful, uh, in a painful procedure. So just a peripheral blood uh, drawing is quite easy and simple, a bedside test. So yeah, that is why uh, liquid biopsy is taking the limelight these days. So these blood investigations are becoming more and more popular where we test the circulating tumor DNA. Cell-free circulating tumor D DNAs are assessed and that, that's when we decide what is the subtype and when, whether they can patients can benefit with certain type of tablets. Well, uh, sir, also please uh, add information to us about when and what is the role of immunotherapy and how do we determine that a patient will benefit with immunotherapy or not? 
presently immunotherapy is a talk of the town all your not specifically for lung for that matter most of the malignancies where as we discussed that do not have any targetable mutations so that is when we start looking for this immunotherapy so this is nothing but our body immune system is trying to attack the tumor and try to control so body is trying to prevent the growth of the tumor or the spread of the tumor so that is how the immunity of the body is trying to fight in the process if we know what kind of immune expression the tumor is showing we are going to take that mechanism and try to target the target the tumor so that is when we do this again a very simple investigation that can be detected through a very simple investigation that is called immunohistochemistry again we just look for the marker that is called pdl1 so based on this pdl1 expression we can tell that patient with some certain class of immunotherapy drugs will respond to the treatment or not so it is again a very simple investigation based on that if you target the patient it will really do wonders to them thanks so much sir uh, what sir said is that we use certain kits which uh, give us information on the pdl1 status of the tumor and the kit we use determines which immunotherapy drug we we'll use so if you are using one over the other there has to be a rationale and we should be able to justify whether this patient will benefit with this drug or not and therefore there are indicators now this indicator could be a blood marker like a liquid biopsy or it can be tissue expressing pdl1 where immunotherapy will work thanks so much thank you